안녕하세요 여러분. Let's try to count some structural bars using SketchUp and our test of Bimagin motions. Saying that these lines are outside the group, we can just select these lines, deselect the group, and count them in entity info. Check towards the left, entity info says 170 meters. Let's try to add one more bar just in case. It's a 10 meter length, so it will total to 180 meters. However, if you want to do the 3D version, we have 1001 bit tool, create joist patterns. Now, assuming that these are joists, instead of rebars, can pick the direction to align to, and the rows will already be grouped. However, if you know that the length is 10 meters each, you can just select everything with Control A and look at 19 solid groups times 10 that will equal 190 linear meters as compared to 180 a while ago because these groups on top has an extra 10 meters. We can go now to the beams using the dynamic motions or Bimagin motions beta testing in your volume 4. So let's lay them out now. All B1s are components, meaning to say they are clones and are similar. I also labeled B2 in order to know which beams have the same sizes. As for our dynamic footing, with one click we can arrange them centered or edged, selecting them and making them unique, as in our playlist volumes, we can edit them all at the same time without affecting the center footing. By using our shortcut, we could easily flip or mirror this to the left. Let's now try to edit the footing again. 200 meters for the column depth. Let's try a footing of, let's say, 180 by 180. And we need the footing to go towards the edge. So let's click on it. Click again. OK. For the center, I think let's all edit this at the same time. Let's make it 200 and 150 by 150. All right, now we can do the same with the beams as well. Let's try it with one beam first, 20 by 30. OK, it works. So I want to try them all. All six of them, I guess, at the same time. Let's make it 20 by 30. Enter. And uh, maybe afterwards we can continue to do the beams just like we did with our footing. Could also be applied with the column. Let's say the B3 will be around 15 by 20. Okay, let's try that. 15 by 20. Enter. And uh, I guess let's group them all together and see how the estimates try to show them. Now we have all of them labeled as beam 1, which for me might not be, like, I, I want it a bit more specific, like B1, B2, B3. Yeah, yeah, like that. So... By renaming the groups, we can get them also organized in the estimates. So you could choose to do that method with the slab as well. But uh, the beams reinforcement is what I'm trying to experiment right now. As for now, I can only edit the concrete cover. And let's say without the concrete cover, I already had placed the edges. And the major spacing will be the rebars in the middle, or the stirrups, should we say. I'm not yet done making the top and bottom bars, but let's try to edit the spacing of the stirrups. This is 20, 15, and even if we scale this beam, they will still stay in the same spacing. So my aim here is to have a two-click estimate. So instead of counting or using the calculator, you can just send this into the report and have the number of stirrups. 